There I am. How you doing? It's Lee. So, uh, so I've had a long travel day. I'm gonna, be, I'm gonna be honest with you. I've had a very long travel day, and uh, but as I was getting on the plane, word came in. Let me let me get, try to give some context here. So for about two months now, I've been working on a story up in Twin Falls, Idaho, about the refugee resettlement program. Idaho has, in case you didn't know this, Idaho has more refugees than any other state in the country per capita, okay, per capita. So in other words, per the total population, it's got the biggest percentage of refugees. And by the way, this is Democrats and Republicans who have sold out Idaho on this issue. Now, in Twin Falls, Idaho, a town of about 50,000 people, uh, my new hometown, uh, Twin Falls, Idaho, the Chobani Yogurt Company moved in, and they built the world's largest yogurt factory there a few years ago. Now, Twin Falls is a long-standing refugee program, about 35 years. But in the past six years, and the reason I said Muslim refugees in the, at the uh, title, the uh, title part there, not my, not my giant forehead, the title part, the reason I said uh, Muslim refugees is even though Twin Falls has this long-standing refugee program, for the past six years or so, it's been almost all Muslim refugees. In fact, I am, you know, again, if you're not familiar with me, I'm an investigative journalist. I work for Breitbart. And uh, uh, three years ago, I went to Beirut to cover. I was one of the first journalists covering the Syrian refugee crisis. Do you know what the percentage of Syrian refugees coming into America right now who are Christian? Less than 1%. So 99% of the people coming into the country now are... Uh, Muslims that, that are in the Syrian refugee program, and in this refugee program in Twin Falls, huge number of Muslim refugees. So it may be an issue for you, it may not. If it's not, it's either because you're uneducated or you're a liar. So I'm going to assume you're uneducated. I'm going to assume you don't understand the problem of Muslim minorities becoming Muslim majorities and then becoming Muslim majorities that impose Sharia law. It's too much to go into right now. So either you don't understand that and you're ignorant, in which case that's fine. You should be ignorant. There's no reason you should know this stuff. The media is hiding it from you. And Democrats and Republicans, see, it's a puppet show. I say this all the time. It's a puppet show, right? Here's the Democrat. Here's the Republican. Oh, look. Oh, look. It's the same hand, right? So John McCain is horrible on this. Butch Otter, who's the Republican governor of Idaho has helped this along. So this is not a partisan issue, but that's why this issue, but by the way, that's why this is a tremendously important election, because this is your chance to fight this oligarchy. This is your chance to take down the Bush and Clinton machines that have proven themselves. And real quickly, I say this every time I talk about this, if you want to stop the refugee crisis, stop starting wars that cause the refugee crisis. Hillary and Bushes, the Clintons and the Bushes start these wars that create the refugees. Hillary Clinton and Barack Obama's foreign policy created the refugee crisis in, in Syria. And if you don't believe me, I'll play interviews for you I did with the head of the Iraqi Catholic Church who says that you started this, America, you started this. And the, a, a, a religious leader from Syria, who's like, why is Obama doing this to us? But the media is part of the establishment. So the reason I went to, to Beirut three years ago was because the media was falling down on the job, and I'm an actual journalist. Anyway, what happened today was Chobani announced, and I, I have proven this, and I've shown this in stories, they have a tight connection with the Clintons. Hamdi Yulikaya, the head of Chobani Yogurt, has spoken at the Clinton Global Initiative, Today, go back and check Hillary Clinton's stream. It's the second time she's done it now, second time. Chobani announced that they're going to be doing, oh, shock, what's an issue that Hillary Clinton's pushing? They, they announced that they're going to be doing six, uh, six weeks of paid maternity leave. Now, I, I, I want to talk about that more at some point because really I know that they're doing it to try to support Hillary Clinton's campaign because Hillary Clinton really traded it, but it's kind of stupid because it just shows that companies on their own can get that sort of policy. Now let me say the politically incorrect thing. If you want me to say something politically incorrect, I will, but i got to see a lot of love here. Oh, look, I'm seeing a lot of love right there. So here's the politically incorrect thing. Hamdi Ulakaya from Chobani Yogurt has made a big – by the way, tell Pete, retweet this. Oh, I haven't told you that. I should. I'm so bad at that. 
Retweet this. If you're watching, retweet this. Thank you. So I want you to think about, here's the politically incorrect part, ready? Chobani Yogurt, who's made a big deal of the fact that they hire 30% refugees, which means they hire no more than 70% Americans, right? Look at it that way. Is that legal even? I'm not sure. But uh, is now giving the 30% refugee Muslims reasons to have anchor babies here. Six weeks of paid maternity leave, kind of a good note that you should have some anchor babies. This could be called Chobani's anchor baby promotion. In fact, they should have a new yogurt flavor called like anchor baby raspberry or something, something like that. But the point is, he's giving incentives to refugees to have children here in America. Get that? I know I'm not supposed to say that. That's well, it's politically incorrect to point out that what he's doing is giving incentives to the refugees that he hires, the Muslim refugees that he hires. He's giving them incentive to have babies. That's what he's doing. I know. I know I'm not supposed to say it. Here's the other thing I'm not supposed to say. This story has been censored, period. About a month ago, Chobani threatened legal action and they helped promote a smear article in Daily Beast that misquoted me. If you read the Daily Beast article, they have to take that back. This is why I sent up the bat signal to Mike and to Cassandra and to Roger and to Paul and other I don't even know Paul, but he seems to be a good guy to get involved in this. Uh, Prison Planet at, at Twitter.com. I don't know Paul. He's got, he's got a British accent. He must be okay. Is, was that politically incorrect? I don't know. But Paul does good work, and uh, uh, I got shut down on telling this story. So now I can tell it to you on Periscope. I'm counting on you to help get the story out, because I was shut down on it. And I can't say much more. My lips are sealed. I want to tell you, but I've probably said enough. So there you go. Help get this story out. I'm going to retweet a couple more things. That's what it is. I can do it on Periscope. The fact that this got shut down, the fact that the, a Hillary Clinton connected company, John Podesta, the campaign manager of Hillary Clinton, Hamdi Ulikaya's, the person who runs his pro-refugee charity, worked for John Podesta, worked for Center for American Progress. I'll, I'll probably post that as a story on my own site uh, in the next day or two. But that's what's going on here. And everybody should be frightened as hell. Because this is oligarchy. People talk about, oh, Trump, Trump's mean to the press. No, he's not. The press lies about Donald Trump. He should be mean to him. He should be, he should be much meaner, in my opinion, and I'm a member of the press. So uh, it's not Hillary who ducked doing a press conference for 300 days or something like that, right? You know, 200, whatever it was, 200 days, some frighteningly large number, Right. This is frightening. This is oligarchy. This is a yogurt company trying to shut down the story, and I hate it. If you have any questions, I'll talk to you on Twitter. I'm always open to, to questions and stuff like that. Thanks for listening. I'm really tired. Three flights to get from Twin Falls to Sioux Falls. You'd think it's only one word different in the name, Twin Falls to Sioux Falls. How hard is that? And the answer is pretty hard. Eight hours of flying in little tiny bits. Anyway, I love you guys. Oops, I just did the wrong thing. Bye.